This box of Five Nights at Freddy's Mystery Minis cost me over $500. It released over seven years ago, and it is crazy to see a sealed one still in 2023. Like, honestly, you guys have no clue how hard it was to get one of these. And also, the reason that I purchased this was because you guys hit the like goal on my last Five Nights at Freddy's Mystery Mini video. And I, of course, have to follow up on my promise, so we're going to be opening up this entire box. I am so excited. And now, because this is something we don't see too often, I want to show you guys the entire box and how classic this looks and if I'm gonna be honest when I purchased it I didn't know it was gonna be coming with the display so it really is neat that we're able to see it then also I want to show you guys the top here because it does come off take a look at that also if you're unaware with how a case of mystery minis work you actually get 12 of them inside and there are a bunch of different characters you can possibly get and there's the Freddy on the front but then we also have you know like the normal mystery mini stuff on the side and then on the back here is all of the different possibilities and the one that I am really on the hunt for today is that golden Freddy like seriously an amazing one but there's also some rarer characters too at the bottom you can see these three characters here are all 1 in 36 instead of the normal 1 in 12 and so I'm I'm hoping I can at least get a couple of those today. That would be amazing to see. And so what are we waiting for everybody? Let's jump into the first box here. And if I'm going to be honest, I am super nervous to crack these open because they were like 40 something dollars per each figure. Alrighty, everyone, here we go. The wrap is coming off for the first time in over seven years. And here it is everybody without the wrap on. I guess I'll show you one more time really quickly just because of how crazy this is. And let me take that top off and we'll find out exactly who is is the first character we're gonna be getting. Oh my gosh, I am nervous. I also might save one of these boxes just to have as like a thing in the collection. I don't know, I'm debating on it. And anyways, let's see here, who did we get? The first one is, oh wow, check it out. We got Springtrap. This is a really nice figure with all of the little holes in the suit as well as the wires coming out of the sides. It really is crazy the amount of detail it has for series one. Alrighty, so Springtrap, we will leave you here and let's get into box number two. Now, one thing I've got to say that's super nice is the wrap is coming off really, really easily, which is great. I don't need to like mangle the entire thing, no pun intended, but uh, let's do this one here. And I'm hoping that as long as we don't get another Springtrap, I mean, I would be happy with it. Okay, the bag is out. Aha! Uh -huh. This is, hey, Toy Chica. Oh, this is one of the one in 36s. Oh, wow. And I'm pretty sure that this one also glows in the dark. Alrighty, everybody, we have the black light and the Chica. So let's turn this off and see what it looks like. What? Okay, I'm gonna be honest. In the next clip, I just assumed this thing glowed, so just ignore me. Pretty neat. Now, let's get on to box number three. And for this one here, if I'm gonna be honest, I'm kind of hoping for, I think Cupcake would be a really cool one to get. Okay, I am nervous about this. Let's see, come on, Cupcake, come on, Cupcake. I'd love to see ya. Is it going to be? I don't know, I'm kind of feeling it here. It feels a little bit like a Foxy, maybe. Um, oh, you know what I think it is? Yep, it is definitely Foxy. Foxy, and I'm liking the hook hand as well as the kind of like metallic paint for the other side And it's kind of funny because he has both of his feet here So it's a little bit hard to see I guess like the legs and how they normally look with the pieces missing You know, but when it comes to a mystery mini like this It totally makes sense because they are a bit stubbier. Also the eye patch is looking great really well done All right box number four. Let's get into it The wrap is off and let's rip Freddy open here to find out exactly who we're gonna be getting and I'm thinking Because a lot of these are 1 in 12 we'll actually get to take a look at a good portion of this set because there aren't going to be very many doubles like ahaha marionette that is a great one also one that i do not have in the collection and now while i'm opening these up i do want to ask you guys have you seen any of these in person or have you opened up any of these boxes for yourself because they are really really crazy to find now and actually i did see a couple listings on ebay of like one or two at a time so those seem to be all right they are still pretty pricey but to find all 12 of them with the box it's nearly impossible and so with that being said let's get into 
box number five here. I want to show you guys the front again, and then I'll show you guys all of the other ones that we could possibly get again in a second after this one. Feeling this one out here a little bit, and I don't exactly know who it could be. Okay, we got the normal Chica. This is another really nice one, especially because she does have her Let's Eat bib on. And you know what? I think I'm going to move these two over so we can have the normal Chica next to the toy Chica. It just feels right. And so here we are, everybody, almost halfway through the entire box. Woohoo! That flew! And anyways, let me show you guys the back again to see what we're working with. So, we still need a couple of the main characters, and I would love to get, I know it sounds kind of weird, but Crying Child, I heard he's the rarest. It'd be a really fun one to get. But also, we haven't got a Balloon Boy or a Cupcake yet, and it feels like this could be one of them, maybe. Especially because we're getting down to it, it's a good chance that it could be. So, let's see who we've got here. Ah! It's Bonnie with the guitar. Yeah, that is a really, really nice figure, especially because of how angry he looks. So not too shabby, six different characters. And so I think with this one here, we should just start on the front right again. It just makes sense. It also makes it easier for me too. And I'm thinking with this one here, if I were to guess, cupcake. How do I know what Cupcake sounds like? I'm not really sure, but we'll find out together to see if I am right. And let me show you guys first, I guess. Okay, uh, Bonnie fell over. I'll fix him in a second. It is, ah, uh, it's a little bit different. It's actually the normal Freddy. Still a really cool one. And now we actually have the entire band together. Hey, hey, hey. But if I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I am running out of a little bit of room over here. So I'm gonna move you guys in front of each other just so I can keep opening them up. All right, that's a little bit better for now. And let's get into to the, this would be our eighth box of the day. So we're getting close to the end. Oh, and this is kind of weird. Because of how old they are, they're actually stuck together in the bottom. Maybe it's something to do with the plastic wrap, but also, you know what? I'm kind of making fun of it there for sticking, but for them being, like I said earlier, over seven years old, it's really crazy how perfect they still look. Like you probably could tell somebody that they were available yesterday and they'd probably believe you. And so here we are, everybody, our eighth box of the day. Let's see. He, who we've got. This one's feeling really small. Yeah, this has to be Cupcake. It's gotta be Cupcake. And it is Cupcake. Oh, that is just such a great mini. I mean, it looks completely different from the rest of them. Oh, now something that I wanted to show you guys really quickly before we continue is that I got this along with the entire case. It was the original box that it was shipped in from Funko. And it looks like they tried to get their way out of there, but they didn't succeed. If you guys want to take a look though, on the side, it actually tells you exactly what it was. Then on this side here, it's got the sticker with the exact barcode and everything. And so I guess that means that this case was sitting perfectly in a warehouse somewhere for over seven years. You got to remember, guys, that's almost a decade. And anyways, let's get into this would be our ninth box of the day. And looking at the ones that we still have possible, I'm thinking I kind of want to see, well, that Golden Freddy we still need. And so here we are, everybody. Let's see if we can get the Golden Freddy on this one. I really hope so. Are you ready, Freddy? Are you ready, Freddy? Come on, Freddy, come on. Ooh, we got Toy Bonnie. And so I guess when it comes to these mystery minis here, it's kind of a mix of FNAF 1 and 2 because we're getting the toy figures as well. Also, something else that I thought was really cool is a lot of these characters are actually in the movie that just released. And actually, speaking of the movie, if you guys want to check out my review, it's the video right before this. But anyways, everybody, we are getting back into the boxes here. And let me just rip this one open because I feel like if I mangle it a bit more, it'll have something cool inside. And that cool thing better be Golden Freddy. And, ow, oh, it's Toy Freddy. I thought I had it there for a second because he was sitting down. I got my hopes up. But now, everybody, we have two left. And the ones that I think we still need are Golden Freddy and Balloon Boy. And so if we could get those in either of these, that would be perfect. Alrighty, Balloon Boy, this is your shot. Let's see if you're in here. I hope so. Oh, wait a second. I'm feeling that Golden Freddy. <laughs> Check it out, we got him! Oh wow, that is a crazy, crazy figure. And it does say on the bottom here, Funko 2016. It's funny, I never even looked, but that is so old now. And seriously, an amazing thing to be opening up today in 2023, especially with the movie just releasing. It really is a big deal. And so here we go, everybody, the final box of the day. Come on, Balloon Boy. I also really want to, because I don't have any Balloon Boy things in my collection. 
and it would be so neat to have that, especially with how he pops up in the movie. Okay, that's weird. I'm feeling something kind of interesting. It's like two pieces moving around in here. Oh, could that be the balloon? I don't know, everybody, but let's open this thing up and find out. He fell out. Aha! It is him. Oh, no. It was Balloon Boy, but the balloon is broken. Ah, oh, it's such a small piece, and maybe it just got bumped around a little bit and it cracked. I'm gonna have to fix that, but ah, take a look at that, everybody. There is Balloon Boy. I assume because a lot of the newer mystery minis actually come with two pieces and you can put them together, and I'm guessing Funko probably learned their lesson with some of the older ones, and we did end up getting him. It's just not exactly how I expected. But either way, it's something that I can fix, and this was still a blast to open up, and I hope that you guys did enjoy this video because this is seriously something you're not gonna see again anytime soon. And maybe I'll have to try to go after those other two mystery minis that I'm still missing because I need, for anybody wondering, Crying Baby as well as the Freddy Endoskeleton. But anyways, everybody, I hope that you still enjoyed and that's gonna do it for today and I guess I'll see you tomorrow!